Once upon a time, there was a boy named Billy Bellwether. He was a nice boy of good heart, standing on the brink of manhood. Sadly, the world Billy found himself in was not a world he found particularly exciting. It's not that there weren't nice things in his world. He had a good family and was loved, yet he found something about the world rather flat. The colors seemed drab and gray. Billy felt as if he were waiting for something, though he didn't know quite what. Billy, honey, I need to talk to you about some things. I'm really worried about you. You seem so despondent, and you seem like you're really concerned about things, and I'm, I'm wondering how you're feeling right now. And that, dear audience, is what this story is about. One day, Billy Bellwether decided to enjoy his lunch at a nearby park. However, just as he was about to partake of his meal, he saw, much to his surprise, a door. Billy knew, as everybody does, that if one were to go through the door, one would be transported from the ordinary boring lands to the beautiful lands of shining wonder. I didn't know that. Yes, you did. Um, okay. So Billy went through the door. Billy could feel his heart rising like a balloon as he saw there before him a glimmering, shimmering, fantastic world filled with unspeakable beauty and wonder. Billy ran around like a giddy schoolboy, seeing many amazing sights like living green things growing out of the earth with a ginormous golden orb shining high in the firmament, giving warmth and growth to those below, and Ruskin creations whose height varied from boy size to towering, with many arms from which blossomed forth smooth feathers covered in colors applied by some unseen brush, some of whom offered sweet-tasting breads to passersby. sculptures and sand to be made, and parades to be watched. There were soft beds to lie on, and shade to be enjoyed, and smiles to be smiled. Billy stayed there for many hours, enjoying all the luminous splendor around him. But Billy remembered his family and friends his responsibilities and duties. Where's Billy? He should be home from school by now, shouldn't he? <laughs> the beautiful lands of Shining Wonder were the best place Billy had ever been. This world was fantastic, thought he, but it wasn't his home. And so, with a heavy heart, Billy took one last lingering look at the world he now had to leave behind. However, on the other side of the door, Billy was shocked to discover that everything still looked beautiful and wondrous. Had there been some sort of mistake? But then Billy realized he had been in the beautiful lands all along. 